The master's course that we're running on innovation and technology management is unique uh, because we've really looked around the world at a best practice and we've taken really two sets of disciplines, the engineering and the management, and put them together. So it's a new way of thinking, it's a new way of teaching, and it's a way really of bringing together those two key disciplines for the future. There are a number of key skills that students tend to develop on this course, uh, ranging from teamwork uh, to leadership, but in some ways, the most important things are a bit more abstract. Students will develop a different way of thinking uh, about problems and be a little bit more creative. The student background really is of little importance to us. The main thing that we're looking for in students is students that have a lot of curiosity about how to change the world, but also a lot of ambition of how to do that as well. I'm from a management background, but I have no idea about how engineering works. But this course has taught me so much already. Every business needs uh, an innovation part to it and a creative solution. This course, it was not just limited to innovation practices, but also touched on things like creativity, design and innovation. But there's a need for uh, innovation and prompting that in the workplace. And I'd like to increase my formal education in that manner so that I'm better able to help the individuals that I work with to create more interesting technology that benefits everyone. One of the things we do is work quite closely with industry, with innovative organisations. Uh, we bring guest speakers in to enrich the content. Uh, we encourage students to apply their skills uh, in the real world. We also collaborate with the uh, Innovation Centre uh, in Bath, which is part of a, a set squared world class business incubator, which helps innovators take their idea uh, and make it into reality. Originally I studied mechanical engineering and worked for Rolls-Royce Motorcars and Crew. I then studied at the Royal College of Art in London and then following that work for James Dyson for about 15 years. I now run my own design consultancy so I have a fair idea of what um, I find useful. So I run a week-long course on creativity and innovation. At the start of the week we give the students a challenge and then we teach them as the week goes on the tools and techniques they need to, to come up with concepts, to refine those concepts, to select the best one and to turn that into a fairly well-crafted proposal for a product or service at the end of the week. Classes in general are not limited to just talks, presentations. It's also very hands-on. Every student can get involved, can get the feedback directly from the lecturer or guest lecturers. The interaction between teachers and students is direct and frequent. Nobody seems to be very rigid in the method that they're doing everything. Even the instructors are open to allowing more time for discussion, which makes uh, a very good environment to bounce ideas off one another and to get a very good worldview, uh, especially because of how diverse this class is. It seems like the whole world is like re represented in this class, which offers you very unique views. It's not just the subjects, it's the people. What? industry looks for is graduates that can actually take the, the theory that they've acquired while they've studied and actually translate that and apply that uh, in the workplace. And Bath graduates, I've always found, have been very employable. We're looking to really change the world here. We're looking for a better world to come out of this. And we're producing a cadre of students who are really going to be leaders in industry, in government, in NGOs, and probably consultancy companies into the 21st century.